There has been a challenge in the management and preservation of monuments and cultural sites in Ghana. In the Ashanti region, for instance, the preservation of some classical tra traditional buildings listed among World Heritage Sites have been a challenge. There are calls for proposals for funding at the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, that is UNESCO, to create a conservation and management plan for the Ashanti traditional buildings, that is the ATVs. There is more in the following report. Four places in Kumasi are currently considered World Heritage Sites. They include Bisiase Asante Traditional Building and three other sites, Ataswase, Ejinase and Adakojachi. Popular in the Jesu municipality is the abandoned Etuakosen Shrine and the Yasantua Tomb. The Asante traditional buildings represent some of the last material remains of the great Asante civilization. Member of Parliament for Ejisu constituency, John Amputiakuma, wants the maintenance of the site to boost tourism. I'm aware about these uh, four UNESCO sites in the Ejisu municipality. We have taken stock of their current state. Of course, lack of uh, investment and long years of neglect have affected their current status. But the good news is that uh, we are putting it together uh, in partnership with the UNESCO office and the Ghana Monuments and Museum Authority, the French Embassy, and of course the Ministry of Tourism. We will work together to restore these sites as quickly as possible so that we can have flow of tourism. Inscribed on the classical buildings are the unique architectural style of the Asante Kingdom. These traditional motifs have symbolic meanings. Municipal Chief Executive of Ejiso, Beatrice Sewardechi, says she will engage the local chiefs and political actors in the preservation of these sites. I appointed Nana Akosia Jukum II to the assembly, to help us in putting things in place. He's now my assembly member. So anything which bothers about uh, Yasantua's uh, tomb and where he was staying, the history, everything, he's doing it for us. Marehene of Ejiso, Nana Akosia Si Ajukum II says the traditional authorities are determined to safeguard the Asante traditional buildings. You know, when it comes to the moment, the buildings and other heritage sites, it's for Nananum. And we are protected for some time. Now the politicians have set in, and a lot of them has been given back to the politicians, I mean the government. Okay? So there are some places that we can't take the absolute control. So now together with Nananum and the government, when we come together, I think that we can do what it will help all this heritage sites. Head of cooperation at the French Embassy, Alexander Foulon, noted this assignment will be a basis for the country's tourism potential. Ashanti traditional buildings are world heritage sites and this is a great asset for them uh, to preserve the buildings and enhance tourism. And I am sure that we are all convinced after today's visit that there is a great potential for tourism around these sites. The workshop is part of the Sankofa Heritage dubbed Integrated Management of a Heritage Site, which aims to safeguard and publicize the country's sites, assets and cultural heritage. Mona Lisa Frimpon reporting.